Addicted to the Outdoors begins now. What's up, guys? Uh, this week, we are headed up to Kentucky, where Gina actually killed her big buck our first trip there. And it's become kind of an annual trip, uh, getting out there hunting with Mark and Tracy. I uh, couldn't wait for John and Gina to come back to Kentucky and hunt with me on Big Buck Properties again this year. It's become kind of an annual event to have Brad Miller, our buddy, tag along. Um, he seems to make that trip every year with us, and we always have a good time. We finally rolled into Big Buck Properties. What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> How you doing, man? What's up? Oh, long, oh, long it's ride. Been too long. Oh, he's doing it from remote control. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> About that from the time you got here. Uh, oh, flat he tires, nanny issues, Atlanta traffic. God. Jason! Oh, boys are driving me nuts. <laughs> it's always nice to have a girlfriend at camp with me. Before y'all unpack, let's just let's let's, let's go and eat. And uh, brought my chef yeah. in from Mexico. He is the bomb. So it's pretty cool that Mark brought in a chef from Mexico this trip. Yeah, Mark likes to mix it up. Uh, I guess he had hunted in a camp out in Mexico, and this guy had cooked for him, and he liked it so much, he brought him in to to cook at his lodge. So they will be cooking and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm telling y'all, we're gonna have some great hunting, mm -hmm. good food, good times, good friends, man. It's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. First white death hunt of the year. That's right. It's going to be so nice. You know, the hunting in Kentucky this time of year, it's hot, real hot, but the, you know, the bucks are bachelored up, so uh, I've got them on trail cam, so it's going to be good. First morning, um, most everything they got figured out is going to be even, but it's over the morning, so i got to go get to stand somewhere. All between us sleeps inside. Loser. Well, everybody that knows me knows that I'm always game for going up first morning. It's opening day, you gotta go out in the morning. Kill something this morning. Doe, turkey, big buck, something. You know, after a late night, uh, usually that next early morning, there's always at least one man down. Well, it's uh, my first morning in Kentucky. This morning I opted to just come out by myself. I let Justin sleep in, brought a small camera set up, and uh, you know, it's open in morning, first uh, white tail hunt of the year. I just wanted to get out here by myself. It's not too often I get to hunt without a cameraman, so. One thing you'll learn about Brad is uh, if his eyes are open, nothing's safe. <laughs> as luck would have it, um, an unfortunate doe, yeah, she stepped in the dead zone. Saver presents Addicted to the Outdoors with John and Gina Brunson. This segment is brought to you by Four Low, the only technical fishing and hunting apparel completely made in the USA. Four Low, the future of hunting is here. 
where we're at so far. This week we are back in Kentucky and it's become kind of an annual trip with our buddy Brad Miller. Uh, unfortunate doe, yeah, she stepped in the dead zone. Yeah, baby. No more blood right here, blood right there. Going this way. And I'm not looking for any more blood because we got a doe. Well, first morning right off the bat, I knew it. He whacked the doe, which is awesome. That's quality deer management. It didn't take flies very long. Look at that. Heat that up real quick. Ugh. First time for limb saver, success. Time to move on to something bigger. This afternoon, yeah, what's the game I'm going to load you and Gene up. You're going to be hunting the bean fields. They're coming out in them bean fields and sunflower fields. We got some good bucks coming out there in the evening. Which one of you gets the shot? Of, or both of you may, I don't know. All right, man. That'll be good. All right, Gina, oh, yeah. Gina's already been taken very, very good care of. So. <laughs> I do want you to get one. I want you to get a big one. What? That's in bull. That's the difference between me and her. If we come down to the big buck and there's me or her, I'd be like, all right, babe. If she wanted to kill well, him. Well, babe, you could have gotten some nice bucks. If but comes you, down to me and you, her, she's like, no, pound the head is mine. <laughs> Get out, I'm gonna get out and run over there and be like, go, go, go! <laughs> That's just wrong. I'm hoping I'll repeat last year. Sleep it in the morning and kill a 180 at night. We're hoping that the rain's gonna let up and that you're gonna get moving, and I'm gonna get lucky. <laughs> it's not gone edge. They're sweet. Buck watch. This is the dose slayer copy. Are y'all ready? Yeah, I say we're about we're ready, but there's about seven does at the end of the field on the way, so maybe we can push one this way, two on the way. Oh, they went right into the woods. Yeah. Last ditch effort. Good day's work right here. You get a little go, get some back straps safe for everybody. It's a good day. She wore this shirt tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just so happens, everything we're eating is wrapped in bacon. Even the potatoes bacon got bacon fish. stuffed inside it's it. Bacon, bacon fish. Fish. And the potatoes. Look, and the steak's wrapped in bacon. What's up, dude? What's happening, man? What's going on? Hey, I'm Spook Span, one of the co-founders of Big Buck Properties. And second day, we're actually going to a little Spookster's uh, honey hog got one stand that's uh, supposed to be very productive for a very nice buck. Well, the wind's not good for the tree stand setup we got up, so. stand for my evening hunt. We are set up on some bean fields. It's a really good spot. They've got a lot of deer. So hopefully you can get a nice buck down tonight. Here at Big Buck Properties, we're not an outfitter. We're a properties company. We're not a real estate company. We buy and sell our own property and we specialize in unique, special hunting opportunities. Yellow Brad saw a few good deer, but unfortunately they were way up on the hill and uh, a bit out of bow range. This segment is brought to you by Boning. Boning, your archery equipment source. Let's bring you up to speed. This week we are headed back to Kentucky. Yeah, she stepped in the dead zone. So hopefully you can get a nice buck down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Unfortunately, they were way up on the hill and a bit out of bow range. I've got three good bucks where they set, where they're sent me tonight. So as long as the wind's good, I'm gonna shoot the big gnarly one. It is blistering hot, but what are you gonna do? We're gonna sit and stand and hope something walks by. So we're gonna hop up on the hill tonight close to camp and uh, they've been seeing a couple of good bucks up there. So hopefully this uh, they'll pick up a little bit from this full moon and move in some daylight hours. it was time for us to go pick up my big deer that I got last year from the taxidermist. Good job, Rob. Right. Hi. <laughs> He's pretty. He does. He looks, he looks good. Thank you. Oh, the big nasty. Out of here, man. The saga will continue. I will be back and go do my charity. I'm coming right back after, trust me. Well, Brad had to bail for a day to go back and do his charity event. Um, he was gonna come back the next day to hunt, but uh, that left his stand open for a day, and it was a pretty hot stand. Yep, and I was gonna go jump in it. Good luck. Yeah. sure at the time um, the shot felt really good but when I got back to camp John had me shoot my bow and we realized that my peep sight had gotten loose and had slid up on me well it's getting down to the wire We've got a couple days left I'm gonna go jump in the uh, pond stand this morning hopefully something will happen we'll get one down we'll see sitting in my stand trying to get one down. Old Brad was headed to his charity event. So we're rolling down here right now to Fort Wayne. Got my golf bag and trying to raise a lot of money for big brothers and big sisters. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, Brad's involved in quite a few charities. Hey, it's you. And uh, he really does a lot for the kids. Go meet the spookster. He's taking me to one of his little honey holes. What's up? What's up, killer? 
Looks going ready on, to go man. shoot something. Yeah. It's got there's a little breeze and it yeah, doesn't feel that bad humid or anything. Mm -hmm. When we got in there, we realized the wind was definitely wrong for that stand, but we had brought a double bull with us just in case. He comes out here. There's corn down here. That's where I had them the other day, and the deer came, they came out to bed some right here. I mean, it's food plot, and we've been getting pictures of them down here in front of the camera. But what do you think the safest bet is stay down by the corn? Yeah, I mean, I would. Okay. This area was the same spot Brad had hunted a few days earlier and saw those bucks up on the hill. Um, because of the wind, we had to set the double bull down at the bottom. So, you know, I was hoping that they wouldn't come back up top again, and I was hoping they'd head down my way. Has this been a great night, everybody? You know, we just want to keep growing and keep getting kids in our show. That's what it's all about. This segment is brought to you by Grizzly Blinds. Grizzly Blinds, adventure guaranteed. Well, with this being, you know, early season whitetail hunting and being a little slow, it was time for me to whack something and a nice <laughs> fat doe came my way, so uh, she was in trouble. Broke in the limb savers. The new speed zone. Well, Brad brought a jersey and a pair of shoes for Spook. Not me, but for Spook. But I decided to go ahead and try them on because I wanted to see exactly how big they would be on me. <laughs> I look like Ronald McDonald. <laughs> After a slight little detour up to uh, my charity auction, back to Big Buck, going back to the same spot I was at last time I hunted on Monday, so put the smack down tonight then. Yeah, they got an old cutty bag hanging in the in that stand we're going to, and he just checked it since yesterday, 151 pictures. <laughs> you know, we know there's a bunch of critters in there. Yeah, this stand that uh, Brad and Gina had rotated on was obviously a hot stand because uh, it seemed like every day they were seeing good bucks in there. I actually sat before I, these guys came and hunted and watched the bucks. We had 13, maybe 15 bucks in that one field every afternoon. Well, unfortunately, the way that me and my cameraman was set up, he had a monster limb blocking his view, and I had a nice deer 15 yards in front of me. But if we can't get it on film, then I don't take the shot. Well, everybody just got here. We got cameras, we got lights, we got people, and we got a buck right over there to go get. Uh oh, dude, look right there. Look what I done did. You the man. Woo! You the man. You the man. Oh, not bad eight. He didn't go far. No. Not at all. That's a good shot. Yeah. That was an excellent shot. 
Came back, I had to fly everything but a train to get back here. For this reason, I'm happy as can be. <laughs> I mean, I love it. A nice good eight pointer, a uh, good mass, and a, just a good buck. Well, good stack, baby. <laughs> stack. <laughs> What's up with the eight? You know, taking a nice buck with a bow is always a trophy. Mm -hmm. And uh, for Brad, you know, if it's decent coming by, it's getting stuck. <laughs> We always have a great time at Big Buck Properties. Yeah, you know, we hunt with those guys once or twice a year, always have a blast. And I'll tell you, old Mark, uh, he knows what he's doing when it comes to those properties. So if you're interested in looking at any type of recreational land, he definitely knows how to buy them and set them up the right way. Hey guys, make sure you visit our new website. We worked really hard on it, so you better check it out. Lights, action. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> where, where are you going? I'm going for a run. Oh, no. I've eaten too much while I've been here. What do you want to do? This? I don't know. I'm going to stay on the road out here. I'm not going to run out in the woods or anything. Spook anything. <laughs>